we'll take a closer look at the Baba Siddiqui murder aftermath. Well, police are monitoring movements around Salman Khan's farmhouse in Panvel and his house in Bandra. Local police have asked the local villagers and informers to alert them if anything or anyone suspicious is seen. Salman Khan and his family members have been asked to avoid stepping out as much as possible and to not accept too many visitors. But this comes after security was tightened outside the actor's residence in Bandra post Baba Siddiqui's murder. In fact, his murder has sent shockwaves. There's a relentless campaign of intimidation, harassment and threats that have been highlighted by the Bishnoi gang as far as not just actors but other prominent people are concerned. Many say that the shooting has sent a clear message that Lawrence Bishnoi and his henchmen were willing to escalate from threats to action. My colleague Anuj Raite is tracking the latest developments for us. He joins us live at the moment. Anuj, so now the actor Salman Khan and his family have been advised to not step out so often and limit the amount of visitors they interact with? Uh, well, yes, indeed. And, uh... You see that there was a spike in Salman Khan's security right since the month of April when the first attack outside his house took place on the 14th of April. And then, uh, you know, uh, it, it kind of got even more enhanced in the month of May when the police unearthed the uh, the, the plan which was put in place by Lawrence Bishnoi gang to attack his farmhouse in Panvel. They had also conducted recce. And now we are seeing that the number of police personnel outside Salman's house has even increased, you know, has increased more than a dozen and a half. And there is an outstation security personal presence uh, there right since the uh, last couple of days. You know, a couple of days ago when at 9.30 Baba Siddiqui was shot shot dead tragically not too far away from here this is bandra west and he was shot dead in bandra east uh, immediately the very next day salman security was tightened and he was advised not just him but his family was also advised to not step out uh, unless it is extremely important and a caution has been provided because it's not just salman khan we also saw that there were several other instances when uh, his father mr salim khan was also uh, you know he also got some sort of threats uh, either by passerbys or in form of letters or the other ways uh, we also saw that a few weeks ago, there were social media posts uh, put by the members of the Lawrence Bishnoi gang where they made it very clear that anyone who's close to Salman Khan, not just Salman Khan, but his friends, his family and all, they will all be on a hit list by the Lawrence Bishnoi gang, which is why it has, it has become an important challenge in front of the Mumbai police who are trying their best to give Salman Khan security, not just when he's traveling around the city for shoots or other professional commitments, but also at his house. So when he's traveling, of course, he has his security, his got four security personnel who are armed all the time besides his personal security and a police vehicle but at his house as well we are seeing that there is a, a constant uh, a presence of police personnel which has always been there but it, it got enhanced a couple of days ago after the tragic incident regarding Baba Siddiqui. Besides that police are also trying to ensure that his farmhouse at Panvel is also kind of you know made as safe as possible which is why they are collaborating there they are cooperating with the local officials and local people you know trying to make sure that any suspicion activity there and what happened in the month of May, if anything similar is reported, action will be initiated against it as soon as possible. Anuj, also we're reading reports that state that the police are intensifying their hunt for the third shooter who flaunted their gangster status online. Any word on that yet? Uh, the police at the moment is looking for three shooters and uh, you know uh, yesterday we saw that Pramil Lonkar's brother Shubham Lonkar and the other two people who were present at uh, who were present in the Kuril house and are directly involved into this matter are also absconding. The police have definitely pulled up their socks and are trying to you know send their teams to different parts of the city, different parts of the country uh, but there has not been any official confirmation about the status about what has been the uh, you know the development as far as apprehension of the other three shooters is concerned. Uh, They've gotten a police custody till the 21st of October. Uh, now, their primary concern would be to try and get Shubham Lonkar's uh, location from his brother Praveen Lonkar and also try and understand where the other two people, Shiva Kumar, who has been named as the prime accused by the other two who got police custody a couple of days ago. This is, you know, getting their location would be a major challenge. Uh, but what police fear is that uh, one of them, at least, or mostly both of them, might have left the state. And if they have done so, then it will become an extremely challenging situation. But as of now, the police has employed as many as 10 to 15 teams, majority of which are spread across the state, but many are also, you know, traveling across the northern part of India, you know, from where these uh, shooters come from.